Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn how to add Crash Analytics in React Native. So let's begin the tutorial. So first of all, let's create a fresh project. So let us me create a new one with the command. Go to the terminal. So here we are going to make the application that is called uh, Firebase, no, Crash Analytics. Okay, so we have making cra crash analytics because same package name we need to add in the that one also. So enter this. After this, what we need to do is we need to install the analytics. So we need to add this one. So you can add the Firebase app and Firebase analytics. So I need to install this one. The CD crash analytics. Okay. So here I'm going to add my here react native Firebase app. After that crash analytics. So here we need to add crash analytics. Okay. This is done. Open to a new tab and let's configure the app.js at the same. Okay. So let's use their code. It is crash analytics. So I'm going to configure this one code. Okay. Basically, it will for the crash analytics user sign in log. Okay, so I'm going to add this first in the let's open this one file file open folder. Which one is crash analytics open app.js? Let's add it. Okay, so this is the basically on test crash analytics with uh, will this event will uh, uh, call right. So let's check is it working or not. So let's go to the let's create a new project add new project what's the project name or the package name that is uh, let's open this one with the android studio at the same file open so we need to first configure the uh, this project so first of all let's add the app name so what's our app name is crash analytics okay so i'm going to make it like crash analytics okay this is done continue add this select the count default create a project close this So I guess finishing up the crash analytics continue okay go to the Android so here we need to define the package name crash analytics package name must be consist of the letters numbers okay com dot com dot crash analytics nickname leave it register the app Download this file. Next, add this all these things. So let's go to the pro. So first of all, we need to place the Google Services .json. So make me go to the downloads. So here we have the file Google Services. So go to the project. Where is the project? Crash Analytics, Android app paste. Where it is? Android app, right? So Google Services plugin will just download it in your build gradle. It's in the Android 
let me check i have the another one that is android app okay so uh, where is uh, crash analytics android app okay so rename it to the name google services dot json okay rename it done let's move to the next step add this plug file pl uh, file class path project build dot gradle so where is a project <coughs> build dot gradle open it add it here okay google services okay what next we have this is the path not the google and all okay next we have the add the plugin google services in the project app module so we have the project app module build all gradle open it add the top of it apply plugin but next we have we have to add this implementation platform firebase so let's go to the firebase Im uh, implementation the dependencies where it is add this after this um add the firebase analytics also at the same moment okay what next we have this is done okay so let's think now Pro next project then continue the console right go to the crash analytics add as sdk first so in the in your firebase project add firebase sdk for google analytics setup so we need to add the firebase crash analytics at the moment so we have to add the dependencies in the app build.gradle so i'm going to add both of this import the bomb for the file or declare the dependency so uh, uh, when using the bomb you don't to specify the version of analytics at all let's add this in the app build.gradle android build.gradle here you need to add i have added all the these these two things save it what next we are going to configure and we have the uh, at, at the at the project level at the project after this is a project level that i have added this is basically not added here project level is basically like uh, you know to go to the app android app build.gradle here there's an implementation right so here you need to add the firebase crash analytics and analytics uh, analytics is already defined so don't require it okay save it what next we have mm, this uh, this needs to dependencies in the class path crash analytics go to the dependencies again draw it build.gradle add this dependency here class path okay what next we have crash analytics in your app lab build.gradle add this build.gradle file in the app level go to the app level build.gradle so here you need to add the crash analytics it is added no it's not added let's add it okay done and let's go for the build so we are need to get go to the build crash analytics and draw it this this window let's configure the build so it's running the build so it's synchronization with the gradle Let's make a build, install the build. It 
it's installing the build let's connect the NEDS at the same moment so build is launching make sure the npm is installed so let's add the npm reset cache and at the same moment we are going to add the IP it's zero eight one port so let's reload this reload this any desk connect this any desk so this is the test crash analytics you can see that and uh, where we have to go with the this is our cache analytics go to the cache analytics reload this tab it says add SDK okay so it's not uh, like uh, give me the like analytics like I'm going to test the crash or sign in crash so is there any logging crash analytics with the root or something okay this is not working so let's check why it's not so you can see that it, it, here it is add SDK so I'm going to add with this one like uh, adding making the build like this What it says depreciated with the beginning battle with Gidel. you can use the warning mode all line of warnings opening connection deprecation you know, tap grid depreciated with installing compatible with the making it incompatible with the griddle 8.0 but uh, here we are added the new one I guess let's see so uh, crash analytics top uh, crash analytics and we are, I have already done this site uh, draw it bit dot gradle bit dot gradle so go for the app Android build or gradle these two things that we have added right after this we have to add Android then app build or gradle then we have to add only these three so let's go with the cache and then build or app build or gradle What are the dependencies? Okay. Fine. And on the top of it, we have added the Google based services, and at the bottom, we don't require anything. Let's copy and paste the same also maybe right yeah, same so it's added and let's uh, one more file that we need to create I guess if it is not there so we need to add the firebase.json file in cache analytics okay let's sync it sync
run the debug build what happened okay test crash it is crashed okay go to the crash analytics you can see that add button is removed and the crash is gonna be recorded okay you can see that app detecting okay go to the crash analytics installation successful and you can see that there are crashes so you can see that only the app is crashed so let's again crash it i'm opening the app again okay sign in i have clicked on the sign in what happened is there any cache recorded Maybe on C one crash is recorded. What it is? Java. Vivo phone log. Show all logs. What it has printed? App mounted. Right now it's basically app mounted. So where it is app mounted? So you can see that use effect crash analytics dot log. So it will log with that app is mounted. When I click on the on press crash analytics or crash, so the app is crashed and the log is there. Screen view, right? So this is how you can check the crash analytics or configure the crash analytics in the React Native. So any issue, any doubt, just let me know in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Please do like, share, and comment. And uh, any anything that you want, just let me know in the comment section. Any query, any issue. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.